Okay, <laughs> so today we are about to present you the Gondorian Rangers, the Philian Ranger we will fight, like Tolkien described. In the books we have spears, we have bows, and everyone have a long sword. Well, he said a sword, but this is, in my opinion, what could be the best. Because if you have to go in close combat, when you have a bow, you have to just leave the bow. Leave the bow and use your both hands to defend yourself. It's the best option. And as I think that uh, the 14th century could be a good reference uh, for the, the Gondorian in general, as we know that some of them have plate armors. Well, the long sword is something we can really attribute to the, to the Gondorian ritual because it's perhaps the versatile weapon they need in the forest. That's my opinion, perhaps it will change. Well, whatever. The thing is that with a line of spear and uh, spears there and behind the bows, they can be quite efficient even if there is trees around, it's easy for them to flee and also to uh, keep a position in case they have to keep a position shunned for whatever the reason and even use this in a, a combat position when you have, uh, I don't know, Nosgiliad, for example. When you have a new band situation there, when you have to move around buildings and everything, and sometimes little streets to old, perhaps, this could be a good option also to help the regular army. Well, get to the business. Well, first in line fight there. I uh, think that about two meters and a half, or perhaps three meters, but perhaps two meters according to what we tasted, is the good length. Also to overrun the trees and the forest. So we have long swords in the middle in case we need to use them, and also they could have a dagger, which according to me is perhaps the best option when you have a long distance weapon like this. This is long range there, if you pass Forward. If you pass the distance there, for whatever the reason, it's much easier to, if you have to react, to react to the, the dagger, then use the sword and remove it for your sky bad. It's long, it's just not efficient in a in combat situation. So, the dagger on the side could be good. And we know that, for example, Isildur carry a long dagger with him which is even named like a short sword. Well, that could be the example of what will be used there. So, position. And just, you can, you can imagine now that the enemy is coming around. Let me. And just, well, for the, for the sake of the game, let's say that more than two guys and you can shoot your arrow easily and you can still have guys facing other opponent on the side, just guys there. Some guys on me, turn around. And now imagine that I'm also part of the, the enemy. I'm part of the enemy, there is also others on the side. We can go, but well, just imagine that we won't go all around them, just on the two sides of the square, just for once again the sake of the game. Well, don't shoot my face, please. Just fighting like this, they can hold me there with their lances, even shoot at me. Thanks. And if they are just out of ammo, no more arrows, they can use their long sword and come closer to help their friend there and also use the teamwork with both archers taking long swords and both archers coming with his comrade with a spear. So one spear plus sword and one spear there plus another sword right there. Okay? 
So there. So here and spear. So coming there with the spear, holding back the opponent and perhaps just using the, the sword there. Finish the or just once again, the idea would be just to perhaps flee with this and go backward and avoid to be killed simply. So. Yeah. No. So in this configuration they can hold several enemies there. Yes. Come on my side. And here they can be there and they can just push and go backward at the same time. And they just retreat and let perhaps the archer do the damage. So we'll be holding there and Once again, the idea will be to test this in a full scale, meaning that everyone will have mask and everything in order to be protected, and also with much more training, of course. With a bit of training, that would be much easier and will perhaps have proper results. But I think that could be suitable. Also, we know that uh, during the 12th centuries, there have been formations considering only spears bows or crossbows all together so why not inspire this fantasy world from uh, our own and use this so i do think that would work marvels for the gondorian ranger and as i imagine them as uh, some sort of elite parts of the of the army some guys which have been very trained at what they do i think that's also something to consider if you have guys that have trained for years with the spear, bow, and also the sword. That could be very efficient in a guerrilla situation.